No, I have told you, no swearing. It's not right. Why aren't you listening to something else? There's, there's Ken Franklin. And what are Franklin. you now? Huh? Save your my soul? I'm your fiance and I love you. I care for you and that's why I'm asking you to be more I spiritual. I don't need your pity. You just take it elsewhere. I've told you there's no need for this martyrdom you're looking for. I can take care of myself even in my condition. I don't need you to. I'm sick and tired of this, Jackie. Look, I mean, coming here every evening, after, every evening after work isn't going to help the situation. How do you think I feel when you come here, spend a few hours and turn right back and go home? You do refuse to sleep over at night. What, what are you talking about? I thought we'd been through that. I'm, before the accident, I never spent the night, so... Honey, we, we agreed on no sex till marriage. And where does sex come into this now? Huh? What can I possibly do to you in this state? Look, I just need you here and I just need your company and that's Let's that. get married. Let's get married. The phrase is walking down the aisle and not being wheeled down the aisle. How can I get married to you in this condition? I don't care. It doesn't matter to me because I know it's only a matter of time before you walk again. Baby, we need three million naira for the operation. Where do I get that kind of money from? Is it from your job as a secretary? Or from my poor and uncooperative people? Or from my company of which my partners have refused to remit money to me? Honey, where is your faith? I've lost it. Look, the Bible says, put your faith and trust in the Lord and anything is possible. Miracles will still happen. Why did God allow this accident to happen to me in the first place? Huh? Why? So I could have faith in him and believe in him for a miracle? You know, I'm beginning to understand something here. Yes, I think the big man upstairs just uses us poor mortals to have fun. Yes, he, he places us like pawns on the floor and pushes us Stop it! Stop it, that's blasphemy and I don't like it. Jesus, what's wrong with you? You are letting your situation get to you and that is not good. Don't let the devil use you. Look, everything happens for a reason, honey. Something good is definitely going to come out of this. If only you believe. Just have faith. Okay? God will see us through this. This is only a test. We have to pass. I'm tired, Jackie. I know how you feel, honey. I know. I know. Okay? Let's just be strong. I'm tired. On. I'm tired. Believe me. Just be strong, okay, honey. Let's just be strong. We can't continue like this. I'm tired, Jackie. Just, just, just go away and leave me in peace. Just go, honey. It's Please go. Go. Look, I can't bear you seeing me in this condition. Just, just, just go away. Go. I don't care about your condition. What's wrong with you? I don't care. I'm tired. I'm just go. I know. I know. I'm so Too 
And where are you coming from at this time? At this time? It's just past six. Eh. Anyway, I, I had to go to Victor's place. I needed to help him with something. She naked me. So, you are still following that cripple around, eh? You are still following him around. Have I not warned you about him? Have I not? Daddy, that cripple happens to be my fiance. Sure. In the name of all my ancestors, I reject it for you. You found my dead body. You cannot bring a cripple to this house. Daddy, have you forgotten I am the cause of his situation? I drove that car into the ditch, not him. He was only teaching me to drive, Daddy. He was doing me a favor. What am I supposed to do now? Abandon him? So, so, tell me, when and where has it become a constitutional matter that because you caused the accident, you must marry him? Tell me! God, what are you, Uzamaka? Eh? Mother Teresa? Daddy, I was engaged to Victor way before the accident. He used to walk. Hey, yes, yes. Walking about <laughs> with no sufficient money in his pocket. As if that is not bad enough. Now he has no legs. No legs and no money. Tell me, what type of combination is that? Look, Uzamaka. You better stop this joke. Your friends are bringing millionaires home. Your own is a cripple and poverty personified. <laughs> In this house, I will disown you. Huh? I swear. I will disown you. Oh, you are walking away. All right. I will start to collect rent from you in this house. Look at you. At 25, you are still in your father's house. You know that shit? All your mates are married with children. You are still here struggling with one crippled, stupid boy. I don't know if that is what, what they teach you in that church you go to every day. Answers. You were in here. Sorry, I was lost in thoughts. Oh, no, no. I, I don't mind. Oh, not when the object of my vision is an angel. So, tell me, are you an angel? My God, you're beautiful. Tell me, tell me, where have you been all my life? Sir, is, is there something I can help you with? What can you possibly help me with me? All I want is here. Oh my God, you're beautiful. Sam, I would appreciate it if you just state your mission here and let me get on with my work. I have a lot of it to do, please. 
Wow. <laughs> she has spunk too. <laughs> oh, I love that in my woman, you know, full of passion and everything. So, tell me. Are you, uh, are you hot in bed? Hmm? Let me go. Please, I take exception to that kind of talk. Okay, this is not a brothel. This is an office. Ooh. I think you're in the wrong place, sir. Ooh. A little spitfire. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy this challenge. Hmm. So. Can I see your boss now? Are you on appointment, please? I don't need an appointment to see your boss. Just tell him Ray is here to see him. Ray who, please? Ray. Raymond Coker. Just tell him Raymond Coker is here to see him. Ray? Like the, the same Raymond Coker? Yeah, that's, that's me. One and only. <laughs> Sir, I'm, excuse me, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't mean to. I'm sorry, sir, I didn't. I no, didn't know, I'm sorry, I'm no, sorry. Forgive me, I'm, no, I didn't know it was you. It's okay, it's okay, but really. I'm going to enjoy taming you. <laughs> no, you know, in I'm fact, I, I look forward to many more battles. <laughs> Damn, you're beautiful. Many more battles in the future. This <laughs> is <laughs> 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 fire! <laughs> Peter! Who, oh. Who is that girl at your reception, Peter? I walk in here and I see God's perfect creation sitting in front of me. If you told me you had a girl like that, I'd be here every day. I'll resume with you, man. <laughs> Raymond. You mean Jacqueline? Is that her name? Sure. Oh my god, she is pretty. <clears throat> she just got in just a few months ago. Wow. She is pretty. Raymond. Yes. Raymond. Two? How many times did I call you? Two now. <laughs> call me the third one. Don't, don't even think about it. Why? She's off limit. No, no, no. I think maybe you are getting your. Oh no 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 just search me no why should I stick like the girl told me confidently that she is engaged to someone she adores so I can engage her <laughs> I can engage her you better find someone else for those your treacherous activities okay so I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I'm off to the meeting with Mr. West. West. Take all my calls, and uh, if Mr. Rahman calls, tell him that the appointment for tomorrow is cancelled. Rescheduled for 10 a.m. Monday morning. Okay? Yes, sir. Anything else? No, no, no. Just. I'll be back by 4 a.m., 4 p.m. Yes, sir. What are we going now? The man is not only handsome, he is oozing with money. God! What are you thinking? I don't know, you're just the, I don't know, you're just a joke. How was I supposed to know he was in Mokoka for Christ's sake? Yes. Oh, God. But Tamara, the man was really, really unpleasant. I mean, he virtually undressed me with his eyes. And he was going to touch me, that's why I reacted like that. Mm -hmm. So? The man was very nasty. Almost touched you, almost undressed you with his eyes. Instead of you to go and grab the man and kiss him, you're saying he, he was nasty. Come on. 
Oh, don't be silly. Why would I want to kiss your makoka? I haven't finished kissing my own fiance. Oh, sorry, my darling, I forgot. And uh, Jacqueline, well, since you're not human like the rest of us, please, my darling, when Mr. Koka comes into the office again, just give me a bath so that I can turn on my terms on the most eligible bachelor on this side of the planet. For Christ's sake, the man is not only handsome, he is frozen with money. God, what are you thinking? Oh no, it's just the, I don't know, it's just the joke of fashion. Just the joke of fashion. Every day, that's what I hear every day. You talk because it's a shot. I don't even know what I'm doing to you. I'm doing with you. Let me drop you off. Why didn't you just say you were hungry? I would have done this. My friend, leave me to the room. I want all the times you're not here. Who did she sell food for me? Look, I've told you I don't need your pity. I don't. Victor, stop it. Victor, stop this, okay? This attitude of yours is getting on my nerves and fast too. Jesus, what is wrong with you? I'm trying my best here. I'm trying to make you comfortable. I come here at every given point in time against my father's will for your information. And what do I get? Money, money, money? No gratitude. Please, hold on. Just try and forget the fact that you're this wheelchair for once and let's live our lives like normal people, honey, please. But I'm on this wheelchair. Whether you like it or not, I'm stuck in this body thanks to you. And you're dead walking around trying to play for this night in you. Asking me to pretend as if everything is picture perfect. But honey, I like you, I like to face reality and not live in denial. The truth of the matter is that I'm in this wheelchair and I need 3 million naira to pay for the operation. I don't think I can have money falling off your nose, do I? So that's it. Come, let's put heads together. Try and find a solution to this problem. You have refused. Let's sell some of your property, your car, your electronics, anything. When I go out and look for something little from anywhere I can, you refuse to cooperate. And you know very well you're alone in this world. Your family has totally abandoned you. Your business has crumbled. You have no friends to turn to. Nobody but God. And yet you refuse to turn to him. Christian belief slip away and fast too. You are letting the devil take possession of your soul and that is very, very dangerous. So I insist it stops right now. Give me your hand. Yeah. 
know is in front of us and lead us, beside us to hold us, above us to shelter us, behind us. Come and run where you belong, Lord. And our heart is where you belong, Lord. Take possession of our soul, take possession of our heart, take possession of our mind. All of the way we think, all of the words we say. Jackie, what are you doing? Oh, Jesus, I didn't realize. Didn't realize I See, I think you're disturbing yourself of late. You need to concentrate, okay? Or else you lose your job. God forbid. It hasn't come to that yet. It hasn't come to that yet at all. It's just that, oh, God, I've been through so much lately and... Anyway, it doesn't matter. And God will see me through these problems. Amen. I say a big amen to that, okay? So, girlfriend, it's no joke finding jobs these days. So, better don't allow the boss catch you sleeping on duty. Meanwhile, I came to find out if you're ready for the exhibition. As you can see, I'm all dressed up. Okay. Shame on you, Jackie. Oh, shame on you, Jackie. How can you possibly forget the biggest exhibition that this gallery is hosting? Uh, my dear, you do know what I've been through. You have no idea. I've had so much on my mind. It's unbelievable. Uh, anyway, let's go. I'm ready. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Okay. I'm okay, right? Well, you pass. Okay? After all, you're not interested in getting any fish. Unlike me, who is all out to get the biggest fish of all. Well, you know how those... Classy rich men like to be present at events like this. And tell me, I'm looking for the biggest people. You know, those rich, classy men who love to be present at events like this. And trust me, girlfriend, I am going to lay my hands on them. I'm going to do this all the way back. Let's go, girl. Let's go do that. Hi. Ladies and gentlemen, I am happy and called to chairman this art exhibition. Like you all know, I am a lover of great art. Uh, if you look around, you see a lot of things. Great arts display. Work done by great artists. You see with us here, Raymond Coca. And uh, Chodi Chika is also here, and the lady you all know very well, Miss Cynthia Omoibwe, is also here. So, ladies and gentlemen, permit me to officially declare this art exhibition open. Be whatever you want. Spend money. Keep them in your houses. You will love them. Ladies and gentlemen, I officially declare this art exhibition open. Pick your eyes. Pick your eyes. Come. It's, it's nice. It's 
really beautiful. Yeah, so flawless. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Got it? Mm -hmm. I must say the, the artist is very talented. Mm -hmm. God himself is the artist. I'm sure he spared no expense in crafting this beautiful piece of work. Well, maybe God is bad, the artist. Yeah, I'm actually talking about you, honey. I wasn't referring to the painting. Nothing compares to you. You are an exquisite work of art. Thank you, but um, I'll advise you direct your charm to someone else who'd appreciate it, because I don't. Oh, but, 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 wait, 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 wait. Am I so repulsive that you can't wait to run away from me? Look, they have guests and I have to serve them. I don't want them feeling neglected. What, but I'm, not, I'm your guest too. An important guest for them. In fact, right now I'm feeling terribly neglected. And I can file a complaint, you know, to management that you're neglecting me. One of their major exhibitors. Mr. Cook. Oh, okay. No, no. Ray, call me Ray. I would love to hear you say my name. I would love to see how romantic it will be with you saying Ray when we are in bed, making out, just thinking of you and calling my name I, Ray. I, I, oh, Ray. I object. <laughs> I object to that kind of talk, Mr. Coker. Okay? If you continue like this, I might have to file a report against you to the man in bed. Okay, okay. Got it, got it. Okay, wait, 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 wait. All right, let, let, let's start again. Let's, let's start all over again. I apologize for whatever it is that I did before. Let's start again, all right? Hi. Hi. My name is Raymond, Raymond Coker. I am attracted to you, very attracted to you, and I would love to take you out to dinner tonight in any restaurant of your choice. What is it with you? Don't you give up? If, no, because if I do give up, I will be stranded here today. Can't you see that? Well, I'm sorry you'd have to give up on this one. Why? Because I'm not interested in you. Never will be. like you could do with some company. You look quite lonely, you know. Oh, yes. I was lonely until you came along, you sexy thing. So how you doing? Mm -hmm. What do they call you? I'm Tamara. Tamara. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's a delicious name for a delicious woman. Hmm? I can just eat you raw. I know. Yeah. Well, you can call me Ray. I know. You do? Yeah, good. So, yeah. Okay. so where, where is the toilet is again? Yeah. Hi, um, are the guests doing enough food? Okay, I'm coming up. I'm coming up. How much do I earn that you are demanding for all this expenses? How much? Are you, are you paying rent? Are you not living in this house without charge? But I pay bills, I buy food and other necessities in the house. What do you even do with your pension? Is it just to buy beer and sit down here and drink all day? Uh, uh, so that is the problem, eh? You are jealous of my pension. <laughs> Tell me, how much is my pension that you should be putting your eyes inside? I am asking you to fix cable for me and you are calling my pension. 
Older girls like you are building houses for their father. Come on, Kebon, you are arguing. What is Kebon, by the way? What is Kebon? Daddy, it will be good for us to live within our means. Let's cut our coat according to our cloth. I cannot afford the monthly subscription of cables. I, I mean, I earn less than 25,000 a month. So, how do you expect me to watch uh, the European Championship? His son in law fills that cable for him. And here you are, my daughter. Go and marry a better man, give me now. Who I? Go and get a better job in the banks like other girls. Who I? Instead, the little you have, I'm sure, you go and share it with that crippled, useless boy you call your boyfriend. Look, Ozamaka. I will send you out of this house one day. Oh, hey, read my lips. I am not playing. To be careful, okay? Yes, because men like Raymond Coker are very dangerous and should not be trusted. A typical example is how he's been able to shift his attention from me to you, just like that. Now, see, the way this man... Are you jealous? <laughs> Come on! You're the one acting all holier than thou. And now because the man's at attention has shifted to me, you're getting hot and bothered. <laughs> I'm not getting hot and bothered, okay? So now you're my friend. And the least I can do as a friend is advise you to be careful. Yes, I am careful. I'm not complaining. Tama, so why don't you even give your life to Christ? For starters, okay? Because that's what it says. Seek the kingdom of God first, and every other thing will be added on to you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I have seen the riches that have been added unto you since you be is seeking the face of God or his kingdom as you call it. Please tell me all that. Tell me something else that I can hear. I've been hearing this as you started working here. Hello, somebody here? Yeah? Hello? Yeah, can we have you? Yeah. Hi. Uh, good afternoon, Miss. Good afternoon. Please, I'd like to package it for Miss uh, Jacqueline. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't know. Mm -hmm. I guess you have to find a person. We'll be sending those. Okay. Okay. Can't seem to find my bag. Oh, a card. card. Okay. Wow. Angel of my heart, when I set my eyes on this box of chocolate, I knew they were meant, or they were made just for you. Each time, each piece melts into my mouth, sap all the rich taste, and I know that exactly how my house met for you. I await the day I will make you mine. Enjoy. Ray. Ray. Our oh, there, good friend, Ray. Sent you a card. How wonderful. <sighs> Listen, go off I want to take this. The sneaking behind my back to date my husband, my boyfriend. I will not take this. Who is dating your boyfriend? Come on, don't be ridiculous. Did I ask him to send these things to me? I'm as afraid as you are. Just listen and look into my eyes. I mean every word I say. Do not even think about it. Come on, excuse me. Oh, 
Jackie, how you doing? Can I, can I give you a ride home? No, thanks. Oh, please, Jackie, all I'm asking is to give you a ride. And I said no. Hey, what can he do to you? Let me just give you a ride home, okay? Please. Mr. Kota, could you please leave me alone? I am not going to leave you alone. I just want to give you a ride home. What, what harm can I do to you? Huh? Look, thanks for the offer, all right? But I don't think you're going my way. Where I'm going to is very, very far. Hey, hey, I don't care. Wherever you're going, hey, in this city, I'll go anywhere. I'll take you anywhere. Come in. Please, Jackie, please. Let me take you home. Hey, fine. Don't, don't create this scene here, please. I will create this scene. I'm the king of the world. Hey. Was it so hard, was it? No, it wasn't. Let's I forget. Um, I would appreciate it if you don't send me any more gifts. I, d I don't mean to be ungrateful, okay, but I don't find them necessary. And I will seize this opportunity to tell you the home truth. I am engaged to be married to someone I love dearly. And so there is no chance for anybody else in my heart. Oh, very well said. So passionately said. That's how I like my women, full of passion. I am not your woman, okay? The earlier you get that straight, the better for all those concerned. Hey, Jackie, it's not like I see a ring in your finger. Uh, so you're not like married, married, married. So I have a chance, right? Anything can happen. There is a possibility. The possibilities of you being my husband is very, very remote. Why? Considering the fact that you're not a believer. Oh, so that's what the problem is, right? <laughs> so if I get born again, you know? The whole, in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Ghost, will you go with me? <laughs> That's not funny. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If I, if I get born again, seriously, will you date me? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so, if you don't date me, can I ask you a favor? One favor? One favor? Can I ask you a favor? What? What? Can I paint you? Hello? Yeah, just pose for me nude and I paint you nude. What? Yeah, I mean, I'm ready to be generous. Excuse me? Just to post for me nude, I'm ready to be generous. I'm ready to pay you one million. Two, okay, two million, Jackie. The money is not a defining factor here. Jackie, three million then, come on. Three. It's just to paint you in the nude, What? it's no biggie. Oh, come on, Jackie, think about it. Oh, Jackie, come on. Don't lie to me, Jackie. It's only my legs I lost. I've lost you, so but not my eyes. Look, I saw you come out of that man's car and before then you two had your heads bent so close together talking. I've told you, that was the client who gave me a ride. It was an innocent ride, nothing more. So you should know me better than that. Oh yeah? Well, it didn't seem so innocent from my own point of view. I saw the way two of you were bent so close together talking. Victor, you saw nothing, okay? You saw nothing. You're getting paranoid. Jesus, you're taking this thing too far. What's wrong with you? How do you think I feel coming here and quarreling with you every day? Listen, if you go on like this, you are going to drive me away. Yes! Yes! Say it! I knew it! Just, just say it! I knew you've been planning to leave me ever since the accident. Mm -hmm. You're just looking for the excuse and the opportunity to up and go straight into the arms of another man. Don't drive me because... Just stop it! Oh, what's wrong with you? Can't you see what you're doing? This isn't working. We can't go on like this, Victor. We can't. I mean, we need to say a counselor or somebody. I don't like the way things are going. I don't. Baby, I'm sorry, okay? I'm truly sorry. It's just that. Sometimes I, I allow the situation get to me. Well, don't. 
Don't let it for crying out loud. I've told you God is in control of the situation. He says to be an of I am with thee. You just believe. Honey, I love you. I love you and there's no way I'm leaving you for any other man. No way. No matter what happens, I promise. Just don't carry on like this. I don't like it. So Yes, and I help you. <laughs> but don't tell me you've forgotten about me so soon. Refresh my memory. Tomorrow. Art gallery. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, no good traces. That is very strange. Considering the fact that we spent hours in this house after the exhibition. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I must forgive my mind, so I must have been very drunk because I, I don't remember what happened. Oh. Yeah. Um, by the way, I, I don't suppose you've heard about telephones, have you? I don't understand what you mean. Why didn't you call me before you showed up in front of my door? I just thought I would surprise you. Right. So listen, I am very busy in the studio right now. I'm going to actually call me. Make sure you call me before you get to the What is it? I mean, you've been avoiding me lately and it's been pretty obvious. So. Talk to me. I what? don't want to talk to you. Just leave me alone and go back to your office. Well, it's almost closing time and um, I want to find out from if I can get you a ride home. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, I'm not going your way today. What? Tamara, Tamara, there's something going on here. Okay, so why don't you just talk to me? What have I done? You know exactly what is going on. You want to grab all the men for yourself. You're not satisfied with Victor, now is Raymond. <laughs> Jesus, don't be ridiculous. You know pretty well I have nothing to do with him. Hey, hey, don't pull that innocent out of me because it's not going to work. You've been acting uninterested all the while. Meanwhile, behind my back, you've been plotting your strategy. But let me tell you something. This time around, you're not going to succeed because Raymond is mine and I won't let you take him away from me. Never. Tell me. Hey, don't even say anything. And that's just the problem, man. Eh? Hey, 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 that's all. Thank you, Mr. Koi. Look, I am not running charity organization here. Yeah, I am tired. I am tired of listening to your stories. It's been over six months now, and nothing is coming up from you. I gave you time because of your condition. But it seems. Nothing is forthcoming. Please, I need my money. I need my money today. Please, uh, please just try and understand. Uh, ever since the accident, I've not really had time to concentrate on my mm. business. My partner, yes, my partner mm. is even trying to defraud me. Thank you. Yes, sir. And, and Thank you. Shut up your mouth. MST. Sir. Master storyteller. It's not like that, sir. Master, I, look, I am tired. I'm tired of hearing the, the same old story from you. You hear me? Look. Mr. Kori, now look at me. Am I your father? Am I your father? Answer me. No, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. What I need is my own money. Money! Money! Is what I need. Eh? Give me my money. Yes, or you leave my sir, company. Give me more time. Eh? Eh? Give me a little time, please. Please. Oh. Allah. Oh. Well, I'm a true Muslim. Alaji. Hmm. Well, Inshallah, allows a mad. I'm jaldi, I'm Well, um, I am giving you one week ah, to come up with my money. Yes. I will throw you out. You are your property. I will throw you out of my house. I've told you. Sir, sir, my house is not, it's, it's not yeah. like that, sir. Hey.
Hey, Vicky. How are you, my brother? I guess you're okay, yeah? You look better than the last time I saw you. So how's things generally? And to what do I owe this August visit, Eric? <laughs> but uh, you don't have to you don't have to talk in that tone, man. You know. You know how hard it is for me at, at work. Especially with you incapacitated. You know it's hard. It's really hard for me. But I'm here now. How are you doing? Couldn't be better. As you can see, I'm having a swell time in this wheelchair. With the table. The walls, the cut chairs. That's my playmates. Cut the crap. Cut the crap, Victor. Oh, cut the crap. I haven't come here for a pity party. So what did you come for? To give me a financial report? How long has it been since the accident, Eric? Nine. Nine long months and not bother to furnish me the accounts or tell me how the company is doing generally. When I call you, you tell me you get back to me. I asked you to sell off some of the assets so I could raise money for the operation I need, but oh no, you wouldn't and... and you know we didn't have money. Oh yes, we didn't have money and you knew that. The company has been long broke before you had your accident. I'm speaking about the company. Victor, the company is gone. Done. Finished. I've only come here so we can settle, settle a couple of things and then shut down operations finally. What? My brother, I'm really sorry. Truthfully speaking, sincerely speaking, it's been very, very hard. We have not been able to pay salaries in the last four months. Even our suppliers don't want to supply, give us, give us goods anymore. Because we are owing them. So I called Stanley to a meeting and I said to him, listen, what do we do in this situation? We said we're going to liquidate. So we sold off some of our we sold off our goods at the cutaway price and we ended up having 900000 left in our coffers. Which spread among the three of us is 300000 naira each. Stanley, I'm sorry. <laughs> so you mean for all the time, money and effort I put into this company, it's only 300,000 that I can come out with? I'm sorry but it's better than nothing. Why didn't you consult me before taking such a decision? Well I thought I had your mandate to run the company, not with you on a wheelchair. I'm on a wheelchair Eric and not in the sanatorium! What's my brain for God's sake? Why didn't you consult me? Huh? This is betrayal. This is the highest form of fraudulent behavior, Eric. How could you? Take it easy, Victor. You don't need too much excitement in your condition. Damn my condition and stop patronizing me. Now you go tell Stanley I'm not accepting this, okay? You just take a bloody lousy check and get out of my house. You don't need to have all this. You don't I said get out! Pastor, I really need help here. I'm helpless. Please. Sister Jacqueline, I understand the situation. But you see, there is little or nothing that we can do, considering the fact that the GO is not around. And uh, we are just a growing church. But I'll look around and see if I can put some things together. Though it may not be anything close to what is required for the operation. Why not take this whole situation to God in prayers? Ah. There is nothing that God cannot do. God said in the scripture that whatever thou speakest to my hearing, that I will do for you. If you ask me, God could heal him. Yes, if only you believe and have faith. Oh, Pastor. Pastor, is my faith alone enough to heal him? Because he has lost his. I don't even know if he still believes in God. 
Every day he sinks deeper and deeper into his sorrows, Pastor. He doesn't want to hear anything about the church. Pray. Sister Jacqueline, pray. Father, come and take control of the situation. For nothing is impossible for you. Not Father, nothing is impossible. Too much for you to handle. But when I ask you to handle it, will not take control of this way. Who not touch him soon. Will not shut up! Everything is you, 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 you disturb me there in the power. Eh? And one will think that after all this cutting and binding, the better husband will come. Useless girl. Morning, afternoon, night, prayer. And yet, you have not found the husband. Eh? Look, Lara. You better finish this your prayer and come to make some food for me in the parlor there. Yeah. And I'm going to go! Hey, how you doing? What about my offer? You can't be serious. I am serious? No, I think you're crazy. Why? You make me do crazy things. Hmm? Look at you, all I want to do is just you on canvas and freeze you for all of eternity. You know, in nature, all of beauty dies. But if I capture you on canvas, baby, you will live forever. Look at you. Hmm? You were made for my art. You're the most perfect thing that God has made. And everything. I want to freeze you just the way God made you. You in your birthday suit. With all due respect, sir, I think you need a shrink. I don't need a shrink. You have all the shrink that I need. No, you... no, no, no. My answer is no, okay? I'm not interested in your answer. Three million naira? Three million. I, I, I... My body is not for sale, okay? It's the temple of the Lord, okay? Okay, Good. okay can't I just like capture the temple of the Lord for a while? Okay, okay, okay. My God, take care. If you change your mind, call me. Call Don't me. Don't hold your breath. I know you will call me. God, you beautiful. And what did you say to him? What do you think I said? Of course I said no. Jackie, I smell something fishy going on here. Excuse me? Mm hmm Why would the man be offering you three million naira just to paint you naked? <laughs> Look. <laughs> There's some sort of relationship going on here. Yes. I mean, that kind of offer only comes from a man who has a relationship with a girl and also... What are you, what, what are you insinuating? You tell me! There's something going on and I need to know. Victor, Victor, you, you surprise me. I mean, up to now, you don't know the sort of fiancé you have. Victor, I am not capable of such. All right, I am 100% devoted to you. There's no way I'm going to look at any other man when I love you so much, honey. That's not possible. Stranger things have been known to happen, my, my dear. That kind of proposal is, I mean, absurd. Okay? And I rejected it, okay? I turned it down. God. Blame myself for even mentioning it to you. I mean, what can't I tell you anything anymore? We used to be able to talk about everything under this, but now, no. I have to watch what I say to you so you don't turn it around and blame me for something or one thing or the other. Victor, I love you so much and I don't want to lose you. So I'm going to suggest something. Let's go for counseling. Let's go and see Pastor Taiwo. Because your situation is affecting your mind. We don't need that kind of complication right now. So, I'm now a psychiatric case. Hmm? Just because I happen to be in a wheelchair, something to go mental. 
I don't blame you. Why would you see me as a mental case? Just because you're not frolic with people who are willing to pay three million naira to feast on your nudity. What does that make you? Imagine that. A prostitute? Yes! Go away! Go and see if I care. You don't even have respect for me anymore. Just get out! Go away! Look, Alaji, uh, it's not fair. Uh, I mean, it's, it's not fair. She, she has been explaining this thing to you all this while. Eh? I mean, you can't just come into my house with, with these dogs to start packing my things. It's not done. We have got some. Oh, 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 oh. That one, the grandma, you speak. Because I want you. I told you I wanted my money. And I gave you one week. It's not two weeks. Alaji. The time is up. Alaji. Give me my money. Alaji. Alaji. The law states that you leave six months notice before you start all these ones hey, you want to start doing lawyer. now. Thank you very much, Mr. Lawyer. Six months. Did your law beat the house for me? I don't know. Is it that your law that is feeding me, my wives, and my children? Is it that your law that is paying my children's school fees? Eh? And care and go. Back to the I just, I, I'm sure we can reason it with yourself, right? Uh, um, whatever the problem is, we can please take care of it. Yes, we can take care of it with my money. Okay, fine. So, um, how, how much is it? How much is it? 200,000 naira only. No problem. He's my business partner. I'm actually, I'm actually here to pay him some money, but I can tell you, just give us one more day. Come here tomorrow morning. One, one, one day. day. In Jesus' name, I'll give you back the money. Okay, look, tomorrow. Mr. Vito, I need my money tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning! After tomorrow morning, you see, you see what I do to you. No sense. How dare you, Eric? How dare you? I mean, how, how dare you walk into my house and take over? Are you out of the senses? But the money, I told you about the money. You told me about what? Look, damn you and damn my landlord. Ah! How dare you? Are you crazy? Look, I could just kill you for what you just done right now. I mean, I could, I could, I could kill you. Are you mad? Come on, man. There's only for you to hit the roof. I was only trying to help you. Take care of myself, and I don't need your help, okay? I don't need your help. I don't need anybody to help you, hear me? I don't! Get out of my house, are you mad? Look, I, I, oh my god! Jesus! Victor! Come on, Victor! Well, um, there is absolutely nothing wrong with him, Mrs. Zoma. He's just very depressed. Very, very depressed. He still has not come to the terms of the fact that he's on a wheelchair. You know, for someone who has been very active and agile, it's extremely difficult to adjust. You understand what I mean? So what I would suggest for him is a change of scene, loss of love and care. And the operation has to be done very fast. I agree with you, Doctor, but... Doctor, it's not easy raising three million naira. We're trying, but... Doesn't he have relations who could fit the bill? No. Well, yes, he has relations, but there's little or nothing they can do. See, like, before the accident, he was... like a breadwinner, so... Well... You will have to come up with something very fast. The operation needs to be done urgently. The earlier, the better. Else, he might not be able to work again. Hope you understand me. Do you understand what I mean? Yes. No, 
worry, my, my God is a God true love. Okay. I believe in God. Oh, excuse me. You will have to come up with something very fast. What can I possibly do to you in this state? Three million. <laughs> oh my god. I tell you you'll come. Hmm? One gets offered three million naira. Which is what? Twenty-two thousand dollars or thirty thousand dollars? for posing for a painting, for just posing for a painting. You will have been a fool not to come. Well, I'm no fool and that's why I'm here. Mm. But I, I want to do this on my terms. On your terms? Young lady, you're in no position to give me terms or conditions. You're not? I'm not entirely helpless, you know. I like you. <laughs> you, you got well, spunk and attitude. You know beggars had choices. I'm not a beggar, okay? And every man has a choice. I've made mine. I've agreed to pose for you, but mm, on my terms. So, I don't know, are you going to listen to me or not? I'm listening. Alright. Um. What I want is. What we'll do is. What? Just speak, you just stop stuttering. I will pause for you, but not completely nude. Um. We'll meet halfway. We'll do a semi nude thing. Hmm. By semi I suppose you, you mean your waist down will be covered in um, your topless? No. No, no. I, I want all the vital parts covered. So, what am I paying you three million naira for? Hmm? <laughs> I want you in your birthday suit. Just save me the details, okay? I'm not posing completely nude for you. That's it. What you can do is throw a cover cloth over me. We'll, you know, expose some parts of my body, but keep the vital parts covered. I, I, really, I think the painting will come out better that way, because I believe there's, you know, something mysterious about leaving a little something to the imagination of people. Wow. <laughs> you thought of all that yourself? <laughs> I didn't know you were an expert in female sensuality. Listen. Completely nude. I'm not deal. And please. Look. No. But it No. No, 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 no. Okay. I thought I could get you to be reasonable. Sorry for wasting your time and mine. Sit. Sit down. And that's an order. When would you like to start? Sorry? Painting. The sessions. Well, when would you like to start? You agree to my terms? Yeah. Well. You're welcome. Okay. Thank you. We're exposing too much and that wasn't part of the agreement. Oh, no, 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 no. Remember you said cover a few vital parts and, and leave the rest to the imagination. Remember you said that? Hmm? So please, give me some cleavage, please. Give me some cleavage. Come on. What is the matter with you? 
I'm usually not this nice. Okay? But you will agree that I, I have been patience personified. This is not a prelude to love making. So save the games for your lover. lover. Mr. Coca, please. I said no trading of insults here, please. Oh, I'm paying you three million naira and I will say anything I want to say to you. May I remind you you're paying for services rendered, not giving to charity? So please, render the service. Sit your butt down and give me the service. Down! And lie down. No, 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 honey, no. Don't, don't do your face like I'm about to rape you, okay? I'm not going to rape you. In fact, honey, this is what I want you to do. Let your face relax. Have that smile. I so just finished making love. And you, you are deeply, very deeply satisfied. Okay? Can you do that? But you're not smart. I, I know. I know I am not your lover. <laughs> well, it's not as if I wouldn't want to be, but honey, in this little space here, I don't mess around. I don't mix business with pleasure. So please, end your money. There you go. That's it. Just want to show some cleavage, that's all. Okay, let's call it today. So when is the next session? Uh, Tuesday next week. Okay. So go change and I'll drive you home. Yeah? No, 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 no. Hey, it's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll drop you I home. Don't. And I said I'm fine. You don't want me to drop? Okay, okay. Here, 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 here. Here. Taxi. No, thanks. I have money of my own. What's the matter with you, Jacqueline? Oh, since these past sessions, you sometimes you're talkative, the other times you're just quiet and you don't say what. Hey, come on, what's what's going on? And what is it with you? Why do you want to know? I mean, you want your painting. I need the money, so feelings don't come into this, does it? Is this how you see it? How else am I supposed to see it? Please, this is a business venture, right? Well, right, but. Contrary to what you think, feelings do come into it. I mean, since the past sessions that we've been having, uh, I've had a chance to be close to you, and it has just opened up doors of feelings, and I have... Never mind. Just go change, and I'll see you next week. Um... Jackie, can you spare a minute? Yeah, sure. What's up? Um, I actually came to apologize for being really nasty, and um, oh, I, I, I know I've been nasty. So I came to say I'm sorry. It's all right. You're forgiven. Yeah, yeah, I know. I guess so. I mean, Raymond Coca shouldn't come in between us, you know, and. Um, and I'm pretty sure you're not dating him. Tamara, we've always been friends. You were the one going about acting all, you know, stupid. Hey, but Raymond really likes you. Tamara, you know me very well. I don't play such games. Besides, I am a game. No, let's just... Well, that's not my fault. I mean, I don't have control over his feelings. Okay? Anyways, 
Let's just change the topic. I don't think you came here to discuss Raymond. Raymond? All of a sudden, he's Raymond to you instead of Mr. Coca. Coca. Emma, look, Mr. Coca and I have a business arrangement. Business arrangement? Wow, what sort of business arrangement could you possibly have with Mr. Coca, knowing that you're not an artist? Look, forget I said anything, all right? Be rest assured, I'm not dating him. He's all yours. Trust yeah, me. Yes. No, 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 no. It's, I'm sorry, okay, for dragging this, all right? Yeah. It's all right, I, I believe you, okay? Um, so when is lunchtime, you give me a call, will you? Yes, definitely. What's the matter, honey? No. This is the second time I'm winning and that's unusual. You're obviously not concentrating. Nothing. I guess I'm just tired, you know, pressure from the office and the entire situation is getting to me. I know, my darling, I know. Listen, I'm trying to face the reality of it all, okay? I suggest you do the same. Victor, yes. I might be able to raise the money we need for the operation. How? Oh, well, I... Don't say then... it. Don't tell me you're accepting that nasty man's offer of posing naked for him. No. Oh, no. <laughs> of course. Then where are you raising the money from? A friend of mine is loaning it to me. Which friend is that? Tamara. Tamara? Yes, Tamara. Do you re remember my colleague I usually speak about? So, your colleague and friend, who probably earns the same amount of money as you do, or slightly higher, is willing to loan you 3 million naira. Pray. Tell. Where is she going to get that kind of money from? What does it matter? Yeah. What matters is that she's willing to loan me the money, I mean... I'm not a charity case, Jackie, so stop making me look like one! And I will not accept money from any source I don't know of. You have to be reasonable, Victor. You need this money, and Tamara is willing to loan it to us. Tamara wants to loan you the money. Yes. She wants to loan you three million. Look. Uh, I'm sorry for my reaction earlier on, okay? Uh, I'd like to see Tamara personally so I could thank her for her kind gesture. Uh, no. I don't think that would be necessary. I insist, Jackie. I'd like to see Tamara so I could thank her for agreeing to make such a sacrifice. Okay. I wanted to tell Victor the truth, but I opened my mouth and all that dropped out was your name. My name? How nice. Yes, I was surprised myself, but I couldn't take it back. So you have to cover up for me, Tamara, please. Saint Jacqueline. So you really tell lies like the rest of us. Hmm, a massive one for that matter. I wonder what the angels in heaven will have to say about this. Please don't try to make a mockery of this. Don't try to make me feel worse than I already do. Uh -huh. Oh, God, what have I gotten myself into? And I can't even go back and tell him the truth at this point in time. What? How do you expect him to believe I gave you that kind of money? I mean, even if I had it, I wouldn't give you it. Yes, I know, but Victor doesn't know you, so don't worry, he doesn't know that nicely part of you yet. <laughs> now just think of something, anything. Mm. Tell him your father left a whole lot of money for you before he died. Girlfriend, see how the lies are flowing out of your mouth. Really? Father left which money? <laughs> see, I'm beginning to doubt this born again business of yours, so I'm suspecting you. Of Tamara, I don't have a choice. So tell me, so this is your little secret with Raymond Coca, huh? And that's exactly what it is, a secret. It's between you and I. No one else must know. Tamara, please. My lips are sealed, okay? 
Come on, cheer up. It's a small thing. I'll go out of hand. Alright? It's none of your business, okay? Just concentrate on the painting and let's get this over and with. Well, I'm sure you're just as eager to get your hands on the money, aren't you? I know what you're trying to do. You want to get me angry enough to tell you why I need the money, right? Well, I'm perhaps you're going to find out anyway, so why don't you tell me? Why? Why? What, what, what is it to you? Because I feel responsible. Because I want to know what you want to do with all that money. That's why. Mm. You really want to know? Yeah. Okay. It's for my fiancé. What? It's not what you think. He's on a wheelchair. We need the money for an operation. We both um, had an accident about a year ago and his legs were badly damaged. And he was teaching me to drive. Ah, oh, so you, you're doing this to ease your conscience. Must be pretty important for you to be compromising your standards. Did he send you to do this? Of course not. He has no idea what I'm doing. Oh, I see. So you are sacrificing your chastity on the altar of love for your boyfriend, not even your husband. Now, isn't this stretching the concept of sacrifice a little bit too far? Listen, he is my fiance, okay? I love him. He needs the money and it's none of your business once again. It is my business if the money is coming from my pocket. You are paying for services rendered. Well, for someone who claims to be a virgin, you have a nasty tongue. Mr. Coca, mm? are we going to complete the session in peace? Or would you rather trade insults? Because I would opt to latter, but if that's what you're offering. Shut up. No, because you Shut up and strike the pose. Back to your position. Talk over. I won't let you get to me. Me and you not be for the same category. Oh, me, me and you not be for the same category. You ready? Hmm? Now you can see it. How do you think? Oh, it's... It's beautiful. You changed my hair. Yeah, I did. Hope you don't mind. That was how I saw it. No, no. I'm impressed. I must say, you're very talented. I must say, very talented. The model is even more beautiful. Yeah. Jacqueline, you, you inspire me. In all my life, all my life as a painter, I've never wanted anything as badly as I want you now. So, tell me, what can I do to make you mine? I, I belong to another. And I'm committed to him, body, heart and soul. I can't love another one. You lie, Jacqueline. You lie. I see it. Your mouth says something and your eyes are saying another you. I can feel it. Don't fight it. Just let it go. I, I see the chemistry. You see what you want to see, Ray. There's, there's no chemistry, okay? There's none at all. I'm, I'm ready to go. I have to rush. Okay. You meant it. Yeah, I did. Every word of it. I'm a millionaire. 
You can cash it in any Platinum Bank uh, branches. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, what would you do with the painting now? Oh, this. Okay. I'll just keep it here and treasure it forever. You won't, you won't sell it? Oh, no, it's priceless. I'm glad to hear that. I, I mean, care that you're not selling it. Because I hate for anyone else to see this. Nobody else will see it. It will be for my eyes only. I'm going to um, frame it. Put it in my bedroom on top of my bed. So I can just watch it since I can get the original. I'll just console myself with the image. Frozen forever. Okay, but isn't that being obsessive? Whatever. Whatever, Jackie. Look, just, just go now that I still have, I still have some bit of self-control. If I do anything, I'll regret it. Just go. I really appreciate this. Thanks so much. When I get back, I'll pay your money to the last couple, okay? It doesn't matter, okay? The most important thing is for you to work again. We we'll look forward to seeing you soon, okay? Thank you. Mm. Honey? Yes? I'm sorry for all the hard times I caused you, okay? Victor. Please forgive me. Sorry, there's nothing to forgive, okay? It's not important. Um, Remember I love you. God loves you more and he will see you through. Okay? I love you too. Oh, good morning. Oh. Oh. I'm coming. Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, can I help you? Uh, yes, sir. I'm, I'm looking for Jacqueline. Uh, uh, who do I tell her is looking for her? Ray. Uh, Raymond Coker. All right. Uh, come in. Come in. Sit down. I will bring her to you. Your visitor. Hi Jacqueline, how you doing? Hi. Hi, I, I, I was in the neighborhood and I remembered you saying something about living in this area, so I decided to drop by to say hello. How you doing? I'm doing good. Well, thanks for dropping by. I'm busy inside. Yeah, it's okay. I, like I said, it's, it's just a short visit, uh, you know, just not staying long. So if you just see me to the car. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Raymond. Yeah. We had a deal. We both kept our own sides of the bargain. So tell me what's this about? I really was in the neighborhood. I just came to see you. I haven't seen you now in what, two months? Did it occur to you that maybe I just don't want to see you? Any particular reason why? Raymond, I told you. I am someone else's. It's okay. <laughs> All right. So how's your fiance now? He's fine. Is he, is he doing yeah, okay? Yeah, he's, he's doing fine. I mean, the operation was successful and he can walk now. Mm. Though he's still, in, he's still in England. What is he still doing in England? Should he be running home to meet you? Why would you stop taunting me? I mean, get your nose off other people's business. It's alright. Right. Right. I'm your friend. No matter what, I'm your friend. You came into my life and, and changed it. Huh? I just... Alright, good. Bye. Oh, be like that. 
That is the kind of man I want to see you with. Not that useless cripple you said you would die with. I hope I shall be seeing more of that man. No, Daddy, you shan't. I have nothing to do with Raymond. Will you shut up? Then find something to do with him. Because he looks like a potential son-in-law that can buy me a gym. Can't you see how fresh his body is? I was able to see my face from his face. Eh? <laughs> Daddy, the Bible says the love of money is the root of all evil. Will you shut up? The same Bible says you should honor your father and your mother so that your days shall be long in the land your Lord God has given to you. So, listen to me, my friend. And find something to do with that man. Quick, quick! Do you hear me? Is that for real or just one of your pants? It would be silly for me to. Um, it would be silly of me to make jest of the things that concern God. After our interaction, I looked at my life and found it was pretty empty, and I decided to honor your invitation to church. And I'm glad I did, because in there today, God touched me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm really glad you decided to take this bold step. It's good. All thanks to you. Um, no, all glory goes to God. He is the author and finisher of our faith, the hope of our salvation. And I pray He grants you the grace to stand firm in Him and follow in His ways. Amen. Uh, uh, can we do lunch? No, no, just launch. Come on. I mean, launch no strings attached from one brother and sister. But I'm sorry, I can't. My fiance is coming in today and I have to go to the airport to pick him up. What time? I don't know, um, 3.45. I can drop you. So funny. I mean, the people there were, you know, it was so strange. You can't believe it. You can't believe it. I mean, it was some experience. I'm worried. What's the gods doing? <laughs> can't say that again, Ma. Can. Oh. Hey. <laughs> I was trying to get the door. Oh. It's all right. I mean, you've been very nice all, all day. You can imagine it's been sweet, right? I mean, takes me to the airport, picks us up, mm -hmm. and now it's free dinner. Um. Um, I'm sorry, man. I'm real sorry. See, 
I've not been around for a long time and I've not seen her in a while. Missed her so much. Missed her so much. That's all right. I'm glad your operation went well. I'm yeah. very glad to see you. Yeah. you. And um, from one Christian brother to a good, good Christian sister, I'll do anything. So please, dinner, lunch, breakfast, come again, okay? If you will, please come. Jackie told me all about you. I'm very, very happy for you. Oh, really? Yeah. But uh, she never mentioned anything about you. Oh, well, we met a long time ago, and I must say you're a very lucky man. Jack, Jackie, Jackie's a wonderful girl. I know, and um, I don't intend letting her go. <laughs> Won't blame you. <laughs> No man would. I'm sure Jackie. Um, I was going to ask, did you um, get the stuff, that, that thing? Of course I did. Good. Um, and did you buy more things? Of course I did. Like? I did, I did. Like, I did. like, just like what? several times when you never return any of my calls? Um, I'm sorry, um, Tamara. I've been, you know, very busy of late. You know, okay. Money, trying to start life again. Trying to start my business all over again. Oh. You know how it is, don't you? Yeah. Besides, I didn't want to call you until I had your money. Oh, come on. That is not an excuse not to see me. I mean, you can pay me whenever. It's not uh, a problem. Uh, no, 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 no. Listen, Tamara. You I promise to pay your money and that's exactly what I'll do. Hmm? Oh, no problem. Just suit yourself. Um, pay me whenever you're ready or just call me, okay? So, um, why don't we take a drink at Stella's or somewhere else or are you in a hurry? As a matter of fact, yes. I'm meeting up with Jackie. We're supposed to be in church this evening for our marriage counseling sessions. Oh! Wow, that, that is wonderful. So, I guess I, I, I'll see you some other time. Or some other time then. Yeah. Now, are you gonna call me or me call you or something? I'll call you. So the is here. Let's go hey, hey! You <laughs> knew Jackie wasn't here. So what's your point exactly? Ish. So, my point is. I am crazy about you. And I know you're crazy about me too. So why the pretext? Hey, stop this! <laughs> Jesus, what's wrong with you? Jesus! <laughs> okay, okay. Listen, listen, Tamara. You delude yourself, okay? I've only gone out of my way to be nice to you just because of what you did for me, not because I was attracted to you in any way. Mm. Me and my fiance's friend, for God's sake! Oh, for Christ's sake. What has that got to do with the price of fish? I don't know what game you're playing, but I'm not playing along. Liar. You can't even tell yourself the truth. Well, you have my number. So call me. Don't, don't get scared. I don't know. I, I, I take this to be an insult. What, what, what is the meaning of all this? Tamara, I don't know what you're up to. But whatever it is, it won't work. Stay away from Victor. Victor? What exactly are you talking about? Tamara, you know exactly what I am talking about. So please, cut out the pretense. 
okay? I know I look naive to you, but I'm certainly not stupid. Stay. Hey, Mimi, I think you should stop it right now, okay? If you're having problems with your boyfriend, find a way to solve it instead of looking for who to blame. Because the next time you come to my face to accuse me of anything, I am going to slap the living daylight out of you. Samara, you're going dear. Try it and see. Good one. So, um, can I have a drink? Something really hot. I don't do alcohol anymore. Oh, really? I see. Can you please leave now, please? Yeah. Come on, darling. Don't try my patience, please. Mm. Really? I really do not get it. You know, I don't understand. We were very explosive and bad. I really do not understand why you pretend it. But, um, well, I'm here right now to refresh your memory about that memorable night we spent together, you and me. What? You are behaving like a slot. Pick up your jacket and put it and get out. Okay? You don't mean that. I know you don't. Come on, stop fighting it. I can see the desire in your eyes. I know you want me. You do. Since you insist on behaving like an animal, I'm going to treat you like an animal. And uh, what exactly do you mean by that? Well, call my security. Really? Your security? What's up? Something wrong with you? Okay, what's happening, sir? Why you let that woman enter my house? Uh, okay, she been telling me say she called you for phone. Say you tell her say make you call. Okay, be my fault. I beg. So when the woman gets to gate there, you call me say ah, oga, you get some woman there for for gate. Make her let her come in. You call me like that? Okay, I beg. I promise you, you go happen again. For this house, for where they go happen again. I'm sorry, Musa. This one when you happen so. If you happen again, I will sack you. Ah, Oga, no! Oga, sack her! Ah! Oga, you go to the thing, say you go sack me for my condition. Oga, beg. In okay. fact, this one when it happen now, I will take out small money from your salary, come on. Oga, okay, beg, I beg, I beg. It will happen again, I beg. Okay. I beg. This one when you let enter, so you go carry and come on from my house? Uh, yes, Oga, okay, ready? If my mom now, now, sir, I ready? Anytime. Come, come, come. Okay. Oh, 
glory. You're telling us if water would have melted in her mouth. Here she is. Not only did she pose nude for a man, but she has been constantly sleeping with Raymond for months. God, I really wonder how she does it. Liar. Liar? Come on, have a look. This doesn't look like me or someone else. <laughs> this is her. Her body, everything, her face. They just don't lie, darling. Well, oh my god. No, 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 tell me. Don't tell me you honestly believe I was the one that gave her the three million naira she used for your operation? Oh my god. Because if it did, I'm sorry to say you're the most foolish man I've ever known. God. I mean, let's get realistic here, okay? Raymond was the one that gave her the money. Payments for all the services render if you get my drift. You know. I know you're wondering how I knew about all this. But she told me and begged me to claim I was the one that loaned the three million naira. Three million naira for Christ's sake. And I am <laughs> when did I see that kind of money in my whole life? I haven't even seen three million naira. Oh, oh, you just don't walk on the streets and pick three million naira. How much do I earn? So face it though. You engage to a blind picture of a prostitute. I see, I really feel for you. I, I, I felt so bad, you know? Look at you. Sincere and everything. Get out, what? Tamara. I'm sorry. <laughs> what did you do? I said, get out! I am so sorry to be the one that will bring this bad news to you. But I was just trying to save you from the shock you're gonna find out in your wedding night that what you paid for was solid food instead of. I said, get out! Oh, yeah, I'm leaving. My little secret. Let me have the paint. Oh, yes. Not so fast, darling. This thing is worth three million naira and someone else's property. Okay. Victor. Victor, you're right. S Sit down, Jacqueline. What's wrong? What's going on? That's what I intend finding out. Victor, you're scaring me. You're scaring me, Victor. What is it? Where did you get the three million naira from? I don't understand. That's not a difficult question to answer, so answer it. Where did you get the money from? But I already told you, Tamara gave it to me. And I suppose Tamara also painted you naked with a little wrapper around your waist. Am I right? Victor, I, I don't understand. You don't understand what? When are you going to stop? Aren't you tired of lying? Your whole life is just one long lie. <laughs> Look at you. Pretending to be a virgin meanwhile you've been distributing your goodies to all and sundry no holds barred. Victor! Jesus, how can you talk to me like that? If, if you've heard something, isn't it proper for you to ask me first before... So you can tell me more lies? To say I'm disappointed in you, Jacqueline, is an understatement. I'm disgusted. You make me sick. Trading your body for money? Victor, I did it for you. I did it for- You slept with men for me? Are you crazy? 
I have done nothing wrong, Victor. Shut up, you liar! You're sleeping with Raymond Coca and you lied to me. You even had the F-100 to come to the airport with your lover to pick me up. Have you no shame? And you would have brought your defiled body into a matrimonial bed. Well, you know something, Jacqueline? This marriage is off. You hear me? Off. Victor, you can't mean that. Oh, yes, I can. Do you think I'll still get married to you after all you've done? Get real. Victor. Victor, listen. Please, listen to reasoning before you make any drastic decisions, all right? I have done nothing but love you. Everything I did, I did out of love for you. All I did was pose for Raymond. And he took a pain. Just to get me. out! And to think I would have married you. You know, I owe Tamara one for letting me know your true colors. Just get out! Oh my god, Victor! The devil is using Tamara to come between us, can't you see? Please, we have something good going. Don't kill it, please. I love you. I just got tired of seeing you in that wheelchair, honey. I felt responsible, I had to do something. All I did was post for a painter, I swear. I haven't slept with anybody, I'm still a virgin. I swear, I'm still love a virgin. No one but you. Just get out! Get out! Look, I can't stand hypocrisy! Oh, you pretenders! Just get out! Now! Get out! That's the point! I said get out! No! Don't do this! Get out! Get out of my Get out! Oh, Victor! Oh, Victor! Oh, Victor! Oh, Victor! How you doing, kid? I'm okay, I'm alright. Um, you know, I looked for you in church today and... I couldn't find you after church service. Yeah, I had to dash. Okay. Um, you know, there's this question I'd like to ask you. You know, really, because uh, in church today, the way you were praising God, you know, I don't know if you've been to heaven before. You know, you were really sounding like an angel. Seriously. Um, are you an actor? I must congratulate you. You know, you're first class schema. But I deploy your tactics. It's low down and dirty. I'll pay your foul money to the last dime. You know, you and Jackie deserve each other. You're one of a kind. Look at you. Pretending to be a lover of Christ now. Meanwhile, your heart's as dark as the devil himself. I'll have to inform the pastor of what the Braved souls he has as members. Well, you know, kid, okay, judge not so you may not be judged. Isn't that what the word says? No, I, you know, I wasn't judging you. You know, I was just congratulating you on your acting prowess. Thank you. Keep it up. You know what will happen? Just go inside now and pack all your things and leave my house. I do not ever want to set my eyes on you again. Do you understand me? Why? <laughs> I know, Daddy, I know what you're getting at. But it's not everything Tamara says that you must believe. You can't ask me to leave your house. I mean, you're my father. This is... Uh, hey, you're my father. Sir. So it is now you know that I'm your father, eh? When you went posing naked for the painting and tax the money to your boyfriend, you never remember that I was your father. If I ask you to buy anything in this house, you, you will always complain. Now you went posing naked for the painting, collected one, two, three million naira, three million, and dashed it to that cripple of your boyfriend. Now tell me why I should allow you to stay in this house again. Go inside and pack your things and leave. Baby, I'm sorry. I said, I said, go, go inside, pack your things and, and, and leave my house. I don't think you should tell Tamara about the painting. Um, 
okay? I had no choice. I already explained to you how Victor behaves. I had to give him an excuse how I got the money. That was all I could come up with. What a shame. What a shame. Okay. Okay. Don't kill yourself over this. Alright? We'll work something out. I'll, I'll stand by you until the very end of this. Alright? And uh, it's all gonna work out. As for this house, it's yours. You can stay here for as long as you want. You don't know what? I mean, what will people say? I don't care what people say, man. You know, you, you and I know that we are both innocent of the challenges, right? It is what you and I say that's important. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, I don't know what I'd have done without you. Run around Lagos homeless? Yeah. It's okay, we'll work something out. It's all gonna work out fine, all right? <laughs> now! <What? laughs> let's go get something to eat. Come on, let's go eat something. Come, come. The Bible says the heart of man is desperate and wicked. Who can know it? You open your heart for the devil and he came in an attack. The Bible says we should be careful for nothing but in everything. In prayers, we should make our requests known unto God. Sister Jacqueline, I, I, I cancelled you. I told you to leave everything to God in prayers. But it's like you got tired of praying and decided to play God. No, no, you, you, you see the results? Well, uh, the church in, in Council was uh, decided that you go on suspension for a while. Yes! You see, we cannot have you stand on the altar ministering to people while the picture of your naked self adorn the streets of Lagos. Sorry. Well, Sister Jacqueline, I'm sorry too. Uh, you see, that's the decision of the church. And um, you see, we as Christians should be shining example. You know, the Bible says we should not be equally yoked with unbelievers. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry.
are you doing here? What are you doing here? Listen, it's not going to work again. It's not going to work. I've told you a thing. I don't want you to get that into your head. Just get the hell out of my life and stay out. Please. Victor, it's really sad to see you have degenerated to this level. At first I thought you backslided or something, but now looking at you, I can see you were never truly born again, were you? And I suppose you're right. You oppose up her body to any man as long as the price is right. Is that an epitome of Christianity? Victor, people fall. Right. Even Christians. Please. Especially when they're you know, met with grave circumstances they can't help. Victor, I know the God I serve. He is merciful. He's ready to pick me up, deepest, dirtiest gutter, wash me clean, and take me back into his fold. And all I'm doing here is standing asking for your forgiveness. But most of Oh, please, 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 spare me all that, please. I can't believe you have the audacity to preach to me after all you've done. And listen to me. I'm leaving your church just because you guys simply amaze me with your hypocrisy. I'd rather die with the devil. Now, will you please step out of my way? I'd like to get into my house. Yeah, on the um. Daddy needs a massage. All right. Oh, yeah. All right, Ma. Take it. Don't be too long, Come on. For God's sake, stop this. Crying like this is going to make you sick. Besides, your man hooking up with your friend is the worst thing I ever heard. Please stop it. I can't. I can't, Raymond. I can't. It's breaking my heart, I swear. I can't. You can. But you, you will not break down because the, the Lord is your strength. He will avail you in times like this. Jackie, please stop. Stop crying. Excuse me. Oh, no, no, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't do this. But I'm having to eat humble pie because of the person involved, because of Jackie. I've never had her. She's innocent and I don't think anybody else has. She loves you very much and she wants you back. I think you should give her a chance. You're welcome to have her or are you tired already? Isn't she hot in bed anymore? That's enough. One more word about Jackie. I'll hit you so hard you won't believe it. Yeah, so watch your tongue. Hmm. Knights in shining armor, always willing to rescue the distressed damsel. I repeat, you can keep your distressed damsel because I'm not interested. Now, if you would excuse me. Kid, listen. Listen, kid. It's a pity that you don't recognize a good thing when you see one. You know, like our people say, when a dog is heading for the grave, he no longer can hear the whistle of his master. No matter how hard it blows. It's a shame, kid. A real shame. Okay, I'll let you know as soon as you come in. All right, then. Jackie? Wow! How you doing? Well, hi! Um, 
Is Mr. Wankwe in? No. Where has he gone to? He went out for a meeting. Oh. Is there any problem? Well, well, actually, I came to drop my wedding invitation for him. But since he's not around, I guess I could drop it with you. Um, I could have actually got here, but um, I didn't know how you're going to react to it, you know, me and Victor getting married and all that. But I, uh, I guess life is full of mystery, you know. You win some, you lose some. I guess you're just careless to allow me to get your man. But not have feelings, I know you get used to it and all that. So girlfriend, take care of yourself. I'll be seeing you around. Jackie? Hey, Jackie. Jackie! Come on. How long are you going to go on like this? Hmm? It is over. It is over. Why can't you accept it and deal with it and move on? What do you know about it, Ray? What? Do you know what it feels like to watch your whole life crumble right in front of you? Do you? Do you know how much time, how much effort, pain I put into that relationship? Do you have any idea? No. Okay, so what are you going to do? Kill yourself? Hmm? You don't know the half of it, Ray, so please stay out. I can't stay out because I care what happens to you. I care because I love you, Jackie. I love you, Jackie. I'm here. Just try. Just trying to make. Make everything possible for you to be happy. And all you do is just. Mope around all day. Just mope around all day and. I am getting sick and tired of this. I'm getting sick and tired of you, Jackie. <laughs> now come on, come on. Eh? You women are just drama queens, right? Now, promise me something. You're not gonna do the same thing your friends did, would you? Right? Promise me. Promise me. Stop it, <laughs> Eric. Stop it, Eric. I've told you, that girl is innocent. I mean, why are you sounding like this? She's a decent girl with good home training. Yeah, 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 yeah. She posed nude for a painting. So what? She must have done that with very good reason. Okay. Let's say I believe you. Alright? Now, I believe you. But you see, the scenario here is different. It's Victor who needs convincing and not me. It's not me, sweetheart. That's fool. 
If after all that girl did for him, he could do this, then he doesn't deserve anything good in this life. I mean, nothing good was ever meant hey. for him in this life. Now take it easy, okay? Slow down, all right? Now you're not just going to sit there, right, and rain curses on my friend, all right? Now, on a serious note, now, put yourself in his shoes. If your fiancé did something that nasty, that ugly, if she put herself in a situation like that, tell me something, sincerely here, what would you do? Wouldn't you do the same? I would give her a chance to explain Eric. And maybe investigate the matter. Before jumping into conclusions. Listen honey, I've worked with these girls for a while now. And I know what each of them is capable of. Jacqueline is the sweetest thing that could happen to anyone. But Tamara, she's just a witch. In fact, a witch. Okay, 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 okay. Now, um, enough of Victor and Jackie's issue, okay? If uh, Victor wants to go and marry the town's witch, or he wants to hang out with every girl, well, that is his problem. No, no. It's not my problem, it's not your problem, no, no. it's not our problem. Not everything. He's your friend. Remember that. He's your friend. You should have made him see reason, rather than hurt Jackie like that. Okay. I guess you're right. I'll speak to her. But the penalty was what she did out of love for you. You're right. Are you blind? That was the ultimate sacrifice. It's yeah, weird. go ahead and laugh. It's funny, eh? Oh my goodness. Ultimate sacrifice, my foot. Listen. It's Jesus who paid the ultimate price on the cross of Calvary. That, Eric, was the ultimate sacrifice. Victor. Mm-hmm. Victor. Yes. Don't make the mistake you're about to make. Don't let that girl slip away. She's the very best thing that happened to you. I assure you, don't make that mistake. My friend, what are you talking about? My Tamara would be the biggest mistake of your life, Victor. Yeah, I promise you. You're Eric, right? Yes. Who am I? Victor. Good. Interfering idiots. Yeah, whatever you want, you can call me. Interfering idiots, whatever. It's accepted, taken, put into book. But I will not discuss or speak on this issue ever again. Well, you know something, my friend? When you do have your stump on your block as you go, maybe I just might not be there to guide you.
have been through thick and thin. I have seen the light, the light, the light. I have been through fire, and I know what's right. I have been through thick and thin. I have seen the light, the light, the light. I have been through fire, and I know what's right. Right. Are you sure it's okay for you to go home? Back home? Yes. It says I can come home now. It's good. He didn't mean to throw me out. He was only angry. It's good that your dad has decided to see reason. I don't think it's really proper for us to live together, especially knowing how we both feel about each other and not being able to touch. Touch you. Well, the Lord has been our strength. Mm. And His mercy is sufficient for us, so we'll be fine. Please listen to me, okay? I'm, can we I have, have a few minutes to talk? Victor, we have me. nothing to talk about, Victor, please. On the contrary, we do, Jacqueline. Yes, we do. Look, it's okay. Please listen to me. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I've realized my mistakes. I've realized I was so stupid to let you go. I'm here to make amends now. Please? please. You realize too late, Victor. It's too late. Jacqueline, Jacqueline, please just... Let me just go! Let me go! Let me go! You just take it, stay it! Let me go. Let her go. Now you stay out of this, okay? As this does not concern you. It concerns me because she's my fiance. Oh no, she's not. Raise your voice to me like that again, kid, and I'll break every little piece of bone in your body. Do you feel me? Please, stop it! Please. Go! Leave us alone. Look, Jacqueline, 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 look, baby, listen to me, okay? He's lying, isn't he? Baby, I love you, okay? You said you never leave me, alright? And I know you won't. Jacqueline, please, just listen to me! Jacqueline, I'm sorry! Please give me another chance, okay? Please! I'm sorry! Please! Jacqueline, please! I'm... Jacqueline, I'm sorry, okay? Please! Do you 
realize that I have printed invitation card in front of everybody about my wedding. And you spend that telling me you're calling out the wedding. Jesus Christ, I have just realized that you want to disgrace me in this Lagos, right? That is exactly what you want to do. And I'm sorry, I can't take that from you. Come on, what is that? You're calling out the Look, wedding. Don't right? take it easy, I beg. Ah, take it easy. Look, I barely proposed to you and you've already printed invitation cards, booked the hall, booked the caterers, you don't want to suit. For God's sake, it's not normal. Look, I feel railroaded and I just can't. No, 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 my darling. You can and you must. Okay? Because I am already carrying your baby. And I do not intend bringing any bastard into this world. You hear me? So, darling, that wedding, it must hold. Or else you just want to see the other side of me that I do not intend bringing out right now. You're calling on the wedding! Is it your decision? Did I beg you to come and marry me? Come on, that one. You can't do that to me. What do you mean? Who's wearing the trousers in this relationship, you or me? That was my business. That's if I say I'm calling off the wedding, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Call off the wedding! And I'm sorry! You cannot call off the wedding! You cannot do that to me! Or you think you want to use me and dump me, just like you did to Jacqueline? Sorry, this is me. I am not just any other girl. You can't do that to me. So I want you to just tell me right now that we are going ahead with the wedding and that you're not calling it off. Because I cannot. You cannot. The prosecution and the defense counsels are hereby invited to address the court. My lord, the name of the accused person is Mr. Victor Onwenkemme Okoli. Onwenkemme in Igbo language literally means, did I do anything? It is my humble submission that the accused did not do anything. Here is a man so full of love that he allowed his fiance to drive his car irrespective of her learner status. And this ultimately caused the accident that confined him to a wheelchair for 10 good months. Here is a man who believed the lies and deceit of the deceased that the three million naira provided for his eventual cure came as a result of the holish activities of his beloved fiance. Here is a man who was deceived into pushing his wife out by the deceased only to be trapped into marriage against his will and wish. My Lord, the evidence of the printer of the wedding invitation card and that of the woman that provided the wedding gown shows the horror and stampede which the accused complained of when he said he felt like being led to the slaughterhouse. My Lord, the seamstress in her evidence against the deceased quoted her as saying, I will kill you if my wedding invitation card is not ready by Saturday. And that of the printer who also quoted her as saying, I am desperate. I want the guns now. My Lord, time was running out of her lies and deceit. Moreover, my Lord, the medical report tendered as exhibit showed apparently that the deceased did not die from the injury sustained from the push, but as a result of the shock, which is interpreted to mean that her plot had been uncovered. It is therefore my submission that the accused, Mr. Victor Okoli, 
did not do anything and should be discharged and acquitted. This is my submission. Can we hear from the prosecution counsel? Thank you, your lordship. The deceased and enterprising young woman, 29 years of age, good upbringing, a graduate of fine and applied arts, full of life and vigor, silenced for life by her lover. My lord, the prosecution is not concerned with who paid the three million naira for the accused treatment or how his operation was funded. We are concerned about murder, premeditated murder. My lord, the prosecution is not concerned with how the marriage was proposed. After all, the prosecution witness too had testified before this honorable court how in her presence the accused proposed marriage to the deceased at all j's restaurant in surulere whether it was under the influence of sape water or russian vodka is immaterial to this honorable court whichever way however the accused went ahead to buy himself a suit he also bought one for his best man he sent out invitation cards to his parents and also to his relatives and all of a sudden, he calls up the wedding. My Lord, let us for a second place ourselves in the position of the deceased. Here was a young woman who had already given out invitation cards, who had virtually bought everything she needed for the wedding. And in a flash, the wedding is called off. And when she objected, what did she get? Death. The accused murdered her out of it, his evil plans. My lord, after going through the statement made by the accused to the police, we visited his apartment. And we noticed that the living room had a rug carpet, except a small fraction of about three square meters, very close to the dining room. And it was on this bare concrete floor that the deceased hit her head after being pushed by the accused. My Lord, premeditated murder. My Lord, it is our submission that the accused murdered the deceased, thereby committing an offense punishable under Section 319 subsection 1 of the Criminal Code Law, Chapter 31. Your Lordship, that is the address of the prosecution. My judgment. The accused person is charged with the, with the offense of murder. Contrary to Section 319, subsection 1, Criminal Code Law, on the 14th of February, year 2003, at number three, Ikodia Street, Ikeja, the accused in his plea pleaded not guilty to the charge. In, his, in support of his case, the prosecution called three witnesses, while the defense called two witnesses. After listening to both the prosecution and defense counsel, and after carefully evaluating their evidences, I have come to the conclusion that the prosecution has proved this case beyond all reasonable doubts, subsection 1, Evidence Law of Nigeria 1990. The accused person is therefore found guilty as charged. However, after listening to the plea of the defense counsel, I have decided to commit the sentence to manslaughter and hereby sentence the accused to 10 years imprisonment with hard labor. This is my judgment. I rise. Ah.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Brother Raymond, I want to congratulate you for the fact that you had the faith and the belief to be able to conclude your beginner's class. It's wonderful. You see, I always preach on this, that it is important that we keep holy in the sight of God. Because the Bible says we should be holy and acceptable unto God. I bless God for your life. And for Sister Jacqueline, hallelujah. You see, uh, at the time she fell, but was able to pick it up again. This is where a lot of Christians have missed the point. Being a Christian does not mean you must be an angel. Sometimes you fall, but the faith to pick it up again. Make sure the Christian that you are. And concerning your forthcoming wedding, I can assure you that the entire church is solidly behind you. Amen. You understand that? And I'll be praying for you night and day. We are looking forward to that. You see, I was counseling her some time and I told her that in these whole circumstances, I can see the finger of God that at the end, God will take glory. Are we not there now? Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But we are not unaware of the devices of the evil one concerning your wedding. I'll be praying with you just now. Let us go. Bind every bindable. I know the devil wants to be at work concerning the wedding. Makashanda Rabako. Mega! Mo! Kehebrahan Dagasakaye! Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Because you have ordained this, I give you all the glory. I give you all the praise. Aramakaya Sakaye, Brahanda Bohoko Yemaya. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.